Well, I don't think I've ever had a bath in uh, on a road before. Ooh, there's a car coming. Well, g'day down there, folks. You join me in the middle of filming a completely different video, which I will link here as soon as that one's done. Uh, but on my way down the New South Wales coast, after filming part of it, I stopped off in several places and did some camping. Um, but in the last place, on my final stop, I ended up getting flooded in without any reception and some dwindling supplies. And yeah, that's what this little video is about. So sit back and I hope you enjoy. So there might be a slight hiccup with me getting back to Sydney in the form of a flooded causeway. Crap. All right, well, I've headed back to camp and seeing as I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to get out of this area and running a little on food, um, I'm going to set up some fixed lines with this guy here and this guy here and keep fishing. Wish me luck. Jesus, from which depths did thee come? All right, moment of truth. Am I getting out of here? Oh shit. Okay, so I've been checking the water levels at this crossing uh, every couple of hours for God knows how long now. Um, but last time I went down there about an hour ago, I stuck a stake in at the water line so we can go see if the water's moved at all. Here's bloody hoping. Oh yeah, also my toe is infected somehow. Um, I'm not sure what happened, but there's like a cut on the inside of it and it's um, swollen up and painful. So that's a really fun addition. It hasn't moved at all. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to camp here. Um, I'm not sure I have enough fuel to get back to the campsite and then come back here Which is a shame because there's one tiny bit of reception down the road It'd be nice to let people know that I'm okay, but I think I need to prioritize my fuel And hope that this doesn't go on for too much longer Well, here's my camp, side of the road camp. It's a nice sunset though. 
Now, with any luck, I'll be out of here tomorrow and this will all be forgotten, but this is a really good lesson in preparedness because I wasn't going to top up my water before I came here. And to be fair, I only topped it up a little bit. I really should have filled up this big drum here. But with this, I still have about four liters of water left. Um, now you can make fun of me from buying big things of water, but you never expect to be in this situation. So I'm good for theoretically about another two days, although it is pretty warm, hence the bare chestedness um, so I'll be losing a lot of water through sweat uh, but let's just hope let, let's just hope I wake up in the morning and it's all fine let's say that so the only food I've got that isn't cereal are these eggs but they've been in my car for quite a while and it's been really warm so I'm not entirely sure that they're still good so we're going to do the old do they sink if so they're good test here in the crossing and find out if I can eat these. You're good. Oh, that's a chunky boy. You're good. Oh. Oh, it sounds like there's something hard in there though. Uh, okay. I'm concerned about that one. <laughs> yep, that's a normal sounding egg. Also good, also good, also good. Bath time. Well, I don't think I've ever had a bath in uh, on a road before. Ooh, there's a car coming. Hey guys. <laughs> Oh, thanks, mate. I'm I'm okay actually for a, for a couple of days still. As you can probably guess, I drove in here yesterday. I haven't been out for a couple of days, so I thought oh, shit, this can be up for a few days at a time. It can be, yeah. It looks like the kind of place. Now I drove in yesterday. Um, it was only about like half a foot deep, and I got in fine. Um, and then I, I came back this morning ready to all head off, and I was like, oh shit, that's not going to work. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You can rest it, rest easy now. <laughs> See you guys. I'm gonna go back to my bath. Actually, that's <laughs> all right. Let's see what's inside this weird sounding egg. Oh, it's fine. Okay, that's a nice surprise. So. Well, I might not have much food, but I do have two bottles of tomato sauce uh, because I thought that I, um, <laughs> thought that I didn't already have some so at my last stop I bought another bottle so if I run out of food I can just guzzle down tomato sauce um, yeah <laughs> oh, look this isn't the first time I've been camping completely on my own with like no one around um, but I think maybe because I've already been camping on my own for a few days, granted in campsites, unlike tonight. Um, I'm just kind of over it right now. And I, I kind of just want to get home um, and see my girlfriend, even though she's got COVID, so I, I can't see her. But still, I'm finding that, like, I'm surprised that I'm sort of already over this situation. Um, I think also hearing people who have driven past saying that once this creek is up, it usually stays up for a few days. And I just don't want to be stuck here for a few more days. Um, I'm going to have to go to someone's farm and ask them for water or something. And um, I, yeah, feel weirdly trapped right now. Like, I keep getting distracted with what I'm doing. I'll go to start something and then even more than I usually do with the ADHD, I'll like just start walking off 
and thinking about how am I going to get out of this situation. Um, what was that? Oh, um, yeah. I'm really start. I'm yeah. I'm not enjoying this anymore. <laughs> I just want to kind of want to go home now. Well, this does feel like a somewhat ironic book to be reading right now. Good morning. Well, that was an interesting sleep. The uh, train went past once every hour or two and um, blows its horn <laughs> each time it goes past because I think it has to warn cars that it's coming. Um, speaking of cars, there was at least one car that went past last night which woke me up Um with a jolt just because the road's right there. Uh, I, I did feel a little bit exposed. I was worried someone might come and like come and try and ask me what I was doing here in the middle of the night. Um, but I think it helps that I've talked to a couple of locals, one who stopped to offer me food, the other one who just wanted to complain about the fact her boss never understood why she couldn't come to work when she was flooded in. Um, but speaking of being flooded in, let's go check if I still am. Ooh. Okay. It has gone down. It has definitely gone down. This is our post. Look, you can see the concrete. This is where I was doing the egg test last night. And also I saw something that I would only could describe as a water scorpion before I looked down and there was a giant wolf spider on my leg. Can I get across this though? Oh, possibly? Is it a good idea? Probably not. Ooh, waterfowl. Careful, mister, if I get hungry enough. I'm gonna wait it out here for a few more hours. Um, and then I really need to try and find some reception because people will probably be a bit concerned at this point. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could see that properly, but a fellow two-wheel drive car just went through there and made it, um, but it was also a pretty bombed up old car, no offense dude, um, and a bunch of steam also came out from when he touched the water. So <laughs> I think I'm still gonna wait a little bit. Luckily I've got plenty of breakfast food um, although, really smartly, I, um, didn't bring any dinner, even on the night that I was supposed to be staying here, because in my grand hubris, I thought, oh, I'll just catch something for dinner. Yeah, in the flooded waterway, Liam, that worked out really well, didn't it? Um, my only concern, really, is water, which I made the mistake of trying to conserve too much yesterday, and got a bit dehydrated, um, and ended up with a headache, and I think it was probably affecting my focus and mood, and in these situations, you really want to have your <laughs> focus and your wits about you um, so you don't make any stupid mistakes like trying, if I tried to cross that water last night. That would have been really bad. I should really deal with this toe. Um, but I only just bought my first aid kit on this trip for my car. And it's all nice and fresh and I don't want to crack it open unless I have to. Um, but we'll keep monitoring that. 
O oh, clouds on yon horizon, as beautiful as you are, if you drop rain I'll be in pain and then we'll be at war. Please don't rain. You know things are dire when <laughs> you're not putting any water on your toothbrush. <laughs> I mean, in reality, I could probably strain some of that creek water um, through some cotton or something and then boil it, but it's no guarantee that it'd be safe. <laughs> And it's a lot of work. Hello again. Hi. How are you? <laughs> well, I found a new campsite. Oh, it's lovely. The amenities are fantastic. Um, yeah, I was just waiting last night for the water to go down. Well, the water hasn't gone down very much. This is where it was. I placed this about an hour ago. Um, and... I've been checking it now for, what, five hours, I think, since I got up this morning. I can see the concrete the whole way across. I'm really worried about the storm that's coming. If it floods me in for a few more days, I'm not really sure um, what I'm going to do. And I need to preface this by saying, never drive across flood water. Seriously, it's not worth it. Um, people do die all the time because they think it's safe and it's not. You lose traction and the water pushes you sideways, pushes you wedge off the edge of the, um, the, the road surface and down into the water. And that's where, <laughs> that's where people drown. So what I will do is I will have both windows open and my seatbelt off for this, just in case I go for a little swim, but I think I should be okay. The only reason I'm doing this is because one, I've done it before at about this depth. Two, I've had someone say I should probably be all right, although they were in a bigger, heavier car than I was. Um, and that's all my excuses. Just don't do this. Don't do the me thing, okay? Don't do the things that I do. It's silly. It's silly. Yes! Oh my god, I almost washed you guys away. <laughs> Jesus, all right, goodbye river. It's been, well, it's been something. Now the problem is, because I don't have reception, um, I don't know how to get out of here. <laughs> There's like intersections and I'm like, oh, yeah, now I've got to deal with this. Um, oh well, we'll find a way. Ah, road closed. Um, Okay, <laughs> that's where I was going to get fuel. Um, you know what, we can work it out, we can work it out. been faced with another decision go back the way I think I came where I know there's probably fuel about the same distance that my fuel gauge is saying I have left before I run out of fuel or take a chance on this other direction towards a different town called Rylston
Well, that's it. We did it. Look, over there, there's the petrol station. That's all I need. Um, yeah, uh, my girlfriend got really worried last night and called the National Park Service who were going in to check on me today, apparently. Um, <laughs> and if they couldn't get in by a car, they were going to consider helicopter me, <laughs> helicoptering me out. Um, so glad that didn't happen. That would have been a little bit too much. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this little side adventure piece and I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Well, that, that storm has, uh, <laughs> has arrived now. Um, and I just had to drive through some more floodwaters on the highway and the piece of my car that tried to come off the first time I went through those floodwaters um, has now actually come off. So... <laughs> oh, it's all fun. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get this thing fixed. It might be time to rip this piece off my car for good. Well, I hope this wasn't important. Oh, God.